So what's up guys, welcome back to another video series in my channel. So in this video series, we'll be covering Django and Django and Vue.js. So in short, we want to use GraphQL. I know Django can be connected to Vue in very many ways. Like you can, you can use Vue with templating system for Django, which is so basic and easy. You can use it to create an API using JSON like REST framework but those I, I won't be covering those so in this series we'll be using GraphQL in Django so we'll be basically using Django Graphene to build a way a web app that has that is using Vue.js with Apollo in the front end and graphing in the back end so without much ado let's do it let's do it so first create a web first of all we'll be using django django graphing so let's add django graphing okay now it's here i think i so I, uh, now you know you search and then we clicked i this page was already open but i wanted you so i wanted you to see what i was actually doing to reach here so first of all you create a project now let's create a project i don't know if it just I'll go over here new item should i create it over here yeah let me just use the desktop and create a project now we'll be making a to do application to track some few things that you need to do now let's call it to do and then let's call it backend okay and then open it over there so we want to create our project over here now come over here i just open our cmd we want to create django project over here i normally like naming my django application configuration applications config other than what normally people call it so you see this is my project but i will be showing you how i normally like creating project now i do django admin start config start project config and then the name i now i put a full stop at the end to show that it's in the current directory all the files will just be in the current directory you see now it created a config and then a manager to qi if you go over here you see it has only these files and these so that is it now we can start our project over here but i normally like separating my environment now i'll just say should i no let me just open it in an editor that will be much easier so okay so as of now there are some things that I've done that are not in this video. I've opened the project and then I created a virtual environment and then I installed Django. So those are things at least you needed to know if you are getting started because this video is not an introduction to Django in any way. So you at least need to know those. So after creating that, we need to install some few things. So we need to install Graphene Django. So this will install Graphene and all the requirements it needs. So the next thing we need to do is add this to our installed apps. I know this this is there by default, so I'll just take this. But if you if for some reason it was not you had remove one of them, then you just know that you will need to have it. So just add it over there, and there is it. So the next thing you need to do is add this to your URLs. So it's simple, man. Eh? Just come add that to your URLs. So my URL is over here. Yeah. I need to use path. And again, remove the regions because I'm not using it. And then I'll show you one more thing when we finally are there. So for now, let me just leave it i guess i need to import it or as it's shown over here so i will clear this just to make space i 
Uh, it's not so important because I'm a developer. So this is basically what you need to do, but that is not everything. So as we said, we will be using a to do. We will be building a to do application. So now let's see our installation has finished. Yeah, it has finished. Now we need to create a new application. Now it, let's do Python manage the ty and then start app and let's call it to do so we create an app called to do as you can see over start sorry i did type my own things <laughs> after the to do app is created we at least need to add it to our settings now come over here and just add to do and then that is it so there is one other thing you need to do so we at least need to make graphene know where to look for our schemas so this is it we graphene has schemas so that is basically where we'll be writing all our schemas now create a new file over here in your app and then call it schemas py right, let's just call it schemas because it's not, it will not be taking one schema then just clear then now over settings we need to point our app to that directory so over here i normally i don't normally put in i normally like putting just before the then graph in at least to show what we and then over here it's schemas in our case and then it's it has to be an installed app the app here has to be in your installer which in our case is to do so if that is done then we will need this finally so these will be somewhere around here so guys for now let's just make sure that our app is running series and then python manage the pure and then run stuff here so this is not everything that will be happening but at least we want to make sure that our app is running and everything is set so as of now it shows that everything is set and fine so in the next video we'll start building our models and schemas and then We'll continue from there. So goodbye guys and have a nice time.